Good evening and welcome to Inside Eve. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for spending this one hour with us. Tonight's show is going to be quite exciting. And yeah, you need to watch tonight's show. Call everybody, your parents, your brother, your sister, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. Just mm. call everybody because... Your dog. <laughs> your dog? Mm. It reminds me of the story we're going to take later. Mm. But yeah, call everyone. Welcome to the show once again. My name is Fome Ejumudo. Uh, with me tonight is this lovely sister right here, turned friend, colleague. <laughs> Why not smile, <laughs> Danny? I don't know, I'm just feeling really interesting tonight. I don't know what word to use. Welcome to the show. My name is Adairi. So like, it's a mouthful, just call me Dairy. That's her Simple. motto. <laughs> you know, that's how we do it. Welcome to the show. Welcome I promise you tonight you're going to have a blast, blast, because I'm excited already. Waiting you are, right? <laughs> I can imagine. Mm -hmm. Well, Boo Boo is not here. Um, she's unavoidably <laughs> absent. But we have a guest on tonight's show. Her name is Joy Isi Bewaji. 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 <laughs> yeah. I'm the first time. Pardon me, please. No problem. Bewaji. Um, she's a writer, a publicist, and the editor of Happening Magazine and Blog. She's also the author of a collection of short stories, What Pain May Bring. Welcome to the show. Thank it's you. It's so great to have Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad to be here. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and she's pretty too. Oh, oh yes, she is, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Welcome uh, to the show, ma'am. <laughs> well, um, we're going on a quick break, a really quick one. And when we return, we have just one story for you guys from yeah, Europe. When we return, <laughs> <laughs> like you went there, yeah? you went there um, to get the story. In spirit, I went there. It's <laughs> a very interesting one. Please stay tuned. You can't miss this one. We'll be back in a bit. You can now watch R2 TV online at royalrootstv.com and on your smartphones by downloading the R2 TV app for Android, BlackBerry, apps for iOS devices, and Windows Mobile from the respective app stores. R2 TV. Entertainment at its best. Entertainment everywhere. Welcome to the Modern Ultimate Men's Guide. It's Men's Steam Off. What do you think about intra-office relationships? Of course, there's hot stuff we'll talk. No matter what stage your power or influence you are as a lady, there will always be that guy that has your mumu button. <laughs> Emotional cheating is just like cheating physically. Because once you have done the act physically, it remains in your mind. Tell us and let's know what your thoughts are. My name is Olamide. Bonjour, comment allez-vous tout le monde? Omar is my name. My name is Mike Messi Kenor. And welcome to our little king. It's Men's Team Up. Oh. It has to be your favorite show, you know. It has to be, right? Hello, everybody. My name is Adam Mikuri. Bears be easy. We are in the building. And you're watching. And you're watching. And you're watching. Watching R2. R2 TV. Don't go anywhere. Stay there. Entertainment at its best. Welcome back. Before the break, uh, we introduced our guest to you, Joy Isi Bewaji. And we're going straight into tonight's story. <laughs> it's a really, it's, it's a funny one. I consider it funny, queer, bizarre. well, in this, bizarre, in this part of the world anyway. It's about a lady called Dominique Lesbirel. She's 41 years old from Holland. Well, she has revealed that she plans to marry her dog. After she lost her husband, mm. who was a cat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it kind of sounds like, it sounds like those um, folk tales that you tell kids, you know, when you growing even, up. You shouldn't even tell a kid this kind of story. Okay, so she plans to marry her dog, right? She lost this cat to kidney failure. <laughs> and they, they, were, they were married for eight years. Wow. So, okay. <laughs> So so the, <laughs> she, was, she was really, really devastated. And apparently she's still mm. mourning the loss of her husband, the cat. Mm. So <laughs> she's, giving, she's still mourning. She's giving herself a bit of time before mm. she finally um, commits completely to marrying the dog. Travis the dog. Travis the dog. 
<laughs> the loyal dog. Well, more interestingly is the fact that she does have a man, like a real man, a human man in her life. Oh, really? Who, who you know, who's you? okay with the fact that she's getting married to her dog. But she has a real man. Are they married? She has a real man. Mm -mm. Are they married. dating? They're dating. They're dating. So, oh, I don't know. <laughs> you can't just wrap your mind around you, right? When people can, you know. I, I don't understand. <laughs> I think she's the owner of um, a particular oh, blog yes. site. It's Marry Your um, Pet website. Marry Your Pet website, yeah, for wedding owners. And maybe, for, pet, so. maybe it's just, maybe she's just using it for animal protect, animal, animal rights or something. But why because marry them? Be, I didn't really married. What is my no, what is what is a marriage? I wonder if they Are you saying that a priest actually I mean it's just her word, right? That I love because, you and I want to okay, live with you. She said she she got the cat when the cat was three and mm -hmm. then the cat died at nineteen and they had been married for eight years. So it means that they had sixteen years together. So they had, had eight years of dating or whatever it is of, of bonding before getting married. Before getting married. So I'm trying to understand the difference between the eight years of not being married. And the eight years of being married. Well, this What's the difference? Together? I don't even think it's even legal. I don't think it is actually a proper marriage yeah. where the state endorses it made oh, yeah. the, news. the marriage. It made the oh, news. Oh, you should make news. I think it's a proper marriage. Like American. We had this, another like story this. once where a lady married her dog. Okay. But then will this animal say, ew, ew. like, meow, I don't. I don't understand. I would like to see. This is first marriage, We want madam. to bring you more gist on the there's wedding. Obviously, there's obviously more to the story. There's more to the story. Hmm. Beyond just being married to a dog, because I, I don't know if there are legal procedures to marry to your marry animal an in animal. America or Holland. Holland. I don't think there's any legal procedure why where you take... Making, why you are you know, making a lifetime decision for the dog or the cat? She's obviously just seeking <laughs> attention where people can talk about her and then she yeah. can push her blog mm. and her animal, I her love for animal it. or anything. Because there is no state... I don't think yeah. there's any state that actually marries an animal and a human being. So. Mm. Speaking of, you know, wow. I've been thinking a lot. Like, I write sometimes. And of late, I've been having... I, I don't know if I'll call it writer's block or... Just, I've not just felt the urge to really put anything mm -hmm. out there because you go on Facebook, you go on the internet and everybody's writing. He's writing. These days you get junk, good stuff, mm -hmm. everybody's just pushing out something. So it's almost like everybody wants some form of recognition. I'm looking for that topic that will trend, exactly. that topic that will just push me out there and I'm like, yes, this is it. This is your so moment. I'll probably write about a dog sleeping with a snake and everybody's going to want to mm -hmm. see that. And then, so it's probably... You're yeah, right, because even there are even yeah. blogs in Nigeria where they say something like, oh my God, Mr. Johnson is dead. Just so oh, they yes. want you to click on it, yeah. and then you Time realize that. And mm. then you click on it and realize she's just on a set. Mm. You have a point. You know, so mm. everybody in the movie or exactly. <laughs> Everybody's looking for attention. So yeah. she's probably just one of, one of so. us. Because <laughs> we're, all, we're all like that, really. We're all looking, just like she said, anything that can give mm. us that moment. So. Social media. Remember when we had that? Mm -hmm. Fome, I love you. Fome, you know? <laughs> Once somebody likes your picture, it's almost like they're saying, oh, yes. joy. I love you, Joy. You. I'm here for you, you Joy. Sure. I recognize you, Joy. You exist. You know? You know? You know and everybody wants that. Oh, so definitely. maybe she finds that with her animals. All the best, Madame mm -hmm. Dominique. Wow. Well, all <laughs> As the you best. marry your dog. <laughs> we yeah. should have a married life whenever you do decide like, seriously? To, to, okay. to hold a wedding ceremony. <laughs> well, tonight we're doing feminism, extreme feminism. And, you know, it's a very, very controversial topic. Everybody mm. has their own view. Everybody has their own opinion when it comes to feminism. But then there's also a group of women that decide, you know what, I do not want to be identified as a feminist. Well, all that and more right after the break. Don't go anywhere. Keep it locked. Yeah. This is knowledge you. This is I'm stopping now. Stopping now. I love juice, I love gossip. Because I dish it out for you guys, and you guys actually do have one and you enjoy watching me dish out the juice. Tonto DK might be pregnant. Did I hear someone say, mmm? This is the future I see. For Nollywood. I see it as the new path for Africa. Hi, I love to model. Do you love modeling and everything centered around modeling? The lights, the cameras, the glamour. Hmm, catch it all right here, only on R2 TV.
Welcome to the Modern Ultimate Men's Guide. It's Men's Steam Off. What do you think about intra-office relationships? Of course, there's hot stuff we'll talk. No matter what stage your power or influence you are as a lady, there will always be that guy that has your mumu button. <laughs> Emotional cheating is just like cheating physically. Because once you have done the act physically, it remains in your mind. Tell us and let's know what your thoughts are. My name is Olam Day. Bonjour, comment allez-vous tout le monde? Omar is my name. My name is Mike Messi Kenor. And welcome to our little cave. It's Men's Team Up. Oh. It has to be your favorite show, you know? It has to be, all right? Hey guys, welcome to the show. It's our two buzz and our two team fake. All right, the number 10, All right, the number 10 video. We know we sold you the lock of the Yes, we have skills and mm. he has come in the last time. He has come in the last time. So, so right now I'm we're going to take a break right now, and we'll come back and count down to four, and three, we're two, gonna come, and come back one. And one. That was the most full video praise featuring Whiskey with CC. What is it? No. In the number we had Files featuring Mary Aladdin. Woo, that should be like a bus stop. Mary Aladdin bus stop. Africa, oh, yeah. Yeah. Hello, hello with the flow. It's Taking flow a break and now. Hello, and hello we will see you guys flow. when we get back. So we have the rising buzz, we have the weekly buzz, we have the exclusive buzz here on R2TV. Uh, my name is Luz Kenon. He's DJ Switch, your lyrical wit. And you're watching. And you're watching. You're locked on to R2. 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 TV. TV. Don't go nowhere. Keep it locked every day. You heard me. You are now watching R2 TV. And we're back. Welcome to Inside Eve. Well, before we went on the break, we, um, I gave you a, a summary of what we're going to be dealing with tonight. Feminism, extreme feminism, and all of the controversies that around surround it. feminism. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the, all those other women who decide, and even some men, right, who yeah. decide not to um, identify with the whole process or movement. Or movement. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> movement of feminism. <clears throat> Well, the numbers to call are Derry. 0809122283080921222285 and 0809122286. I love those numbers. If we leave you, I you could will marry sing them. With them. <laughs> I could marry the numbers. <laughs> all right. Well, don't forget to join us on all of our social media platforms. On Twitter, you can find us at r2 underscore TV. And on Facebook, it's facebook.com slash myr2tv. Don't forget that you can stream online right there on our Facebook page. Please go there and comment. There's so many comments already on this topic. You can go there and add your own comments. And yes, call in on the show as well. Um, don't forget, we also have a WeChat platform. Yay. All you need to do is simply download WeChat and then search for us, R2 TV. Our app is also still blazing very hot. <laughs> well, download our app, whether you use a BlackBerry phone, an iOS, Android, simply go to the various stores, download and watch seamless transmission yeah that's tv everywhere for you social media toilet oh okay no i wasn't talking about that <laughs> not like Dude. that toilet just <laughs> well um, we have a, a short clip that you guys need to see mm. and when we come back from that one yeah joy right here she's going to help us to trash it ah, to trash, trash it, it and tear trash the whole it. Thing you know what? Before, apart. We go that, before we go watch that clip yeah <laughs> I think you should tell us, just give us, so people are prepared so as they watch it, mm. oh, yes. just give us um, an insight into what we should expect from you tonight. Okay, well, we're talking about feminism. We're going to talk about what it's about, what, what is the definition of feminism, what is extreme feminism, okay. what is proper feminism, can men be proper, feminists? Proper feminism. Proper feminism, extreme yeah. feminism, can men be feminists? What's the movement really about? So yeah. we have 
an insight into all of that and probably it would be able to enlighten those who feel otherwise about the movement. Okay. Mm. All right, so I feel like we should like, get books, um, paper, and pen, <laughs> all right. yeah, no. kinds of feminine extremes. It's easy, it's easy. Um, easy definitions, all easy. Right, so, okay. <laughs> so, stay with us, right? Yeah, we'll be right back after the clip. After the break. Hi, Elisa. What are you doing? Well, I am in a library, so I am probably doing what most people do in a library. I'll give you three guesses as to what it is. Three guesses. Are you here bird watching? No, you silly goose. Try again. Are you having a drinking contest? No, but as silly as you are, I think maybe you're the one that's been having the drinking contest. One more guess. Are you jackhammering? Yeah, I'm in the library jackhammering. I'm reading a book, you silly thing. If only I had four guesses, that was gonna be my next. So what book are you reading? Oh you silly thing, I'm reading a book on feminism. Feminism? That's a hate movement. No it isn't. Feminism is a movement for equality and justice for women. Why do you need feminism? I need feminism because 83,000 women in America were forcibly raped last year. Oh, well, forcible rape is a subcategory of violence. There was 1.2 million violent crimes committed last year with three times the male victims, thus men are three times more affected than women, yet feminists want to make it all about women. I need feminism because my name is not baby, sweetheart, or sweet cheeks. I get called dude, hunk, and darling. I need feminism because women over in the UK are charged a 5% VAT tax on sanitary napkins. Sanitary pads are essential, not luxury items, this is a tax against women. But toilet paper, razors, condoms, and eyeglasses are also subject to that tax. So what you're really bitching about is you believe women should have a very special tax exemption. But it's an essential item, women can't have menstruating. And neither sex can help shitting, but we both pay taxes on toilet paper. I need feminism because my dad told me that I'll end up alone if I don't lose weight. My brother is the same weight as me, but he's a guy, so it's different. It's not different. But boys are told to do whatever it takes to make money or no woman will marry them, and no one will take care of them, because they're only males, yet you are somehow the victim of this biologically determined double standard, how? I need feminism because girls who sleep around are called sluts but guys that sleep around are called studs. But guys are told they're losers if they don't sleep around. And women perpetuate this. I need feminism because the cosmetic industry tells me I have to buy the razors and shave my natural body hair to be appealing to men. But men are told by the cosmetic industry that they have to buy their razors and shave their natural body hair to be appealing to women. I need feminism because I shouldn't be afraid to walk the streets alone at night. As a man I shouldn't have to be afraid to walk the streets alone at night either. Bottom line, saying what about the men, is not a fallacy. Complaining about gender-neutral problems and cutting men out of the picture to make only women look like victims, is a fallacy. You are now watching R2TV. I need feminism because as a woman, I don't have to bear all the kids alone. <laughs> I need feminism because I want to go home early every evening. I don't want to be on the show alone. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you like, need feminism? <laughs> I can't bother this discussion right, right now. <laughs> well, it was a very interesting um, conversation they were having that, wow. you know, it just shows that everybody has, we all have male, female, we all have our unique problems <laughs> as human beings. Exactly. So, yeah. It's a very um, interesting. Yeah, <laughs> believe me, that's went on for about seven minutes mm -hmm. we couldn't bring you everything so we just brought that little clip but it seems like that lady seems upset it seems like it's a lot of work mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's nobody's like you said I, I really don't believe that men and women can be equal on every level fine there are all those necessary things which we clamor for which we have gotten eventually but then there are still some other things because if you really say that men and women need to be equal on every single level, then it's going to involve a lot of things, a lot of things that we might not be able to bear eventually. Mm. Anyway, let's go back to the basics. <laughs> yeah. So tell us, what is feminism? Okay, first of all, I have to disagree with you. 
and I do believe that men and women can be equal. And I'll mm. explain why. I, we're different. We're different, but we're equal. Mm. Okay. We are different, but we can be equal. And different means that biologically, women will always give birth to children. Yes. And biologically, men have their own kind of anatomy and all mm. of that. But when it comes to social, cultural, economic, Ooh, yes. political ambitions, mm. it is important Ooh, that yes. people are equal because Definitely. intellectually, with you. there is no difference. I mean, if, um, if you groom yourself intellectually, whether you're a man or a woman, you can be anything. Anything. You, there I is, agree there with is you. no. The women are not. You don't stop thinking after a certain level mm. as a woman. So intellectually, and life in itself, because of technology, has made it possible for anybody to be the man. Anybody in quotes the man. To be the man. It, it used to be that. I mean, in the days of David, in the days of the Bible, why it was very hard for um, for you to say an, a man and a woman was equal was because now if David and his men went to war. If they die in war, th those people will come and rape their wives. So you literally, as a woman and children, you literally have to lean on a man to be alive, to have dignity, to have yes, everything. Because yes. they go to war. Jonathan, not your president, <laughs> Jonathan held his sword for, for 72 hours. It, it clung to his, um, his palm. He fought. When men fight in those days, they are fighting to protect their wives so that nobody will come and rape their wives. Mm. That was before technology. Now, so if a man does that for you, if your life depends on him winning wars every mm. day, of course you will be so, you know, it would work that way because you are dead without him. Now, enter technology and, you know, an environment where you don't exactly need physical ability anymore to succeed. To the succeed. people who do labor, who do physical labor are... They, they, end the, they, they end the lowest money mm. in the hierarchy of economics. They, they end the lowest mm -hmm. money. I mean, people who push carts in the markets, carry mm. heavy loads. I mean, I went to the I went to Domota today. It was crazy, and I had all kinds of stuff. I had to look for a man. And then he'll carry to do and that. Give him and how much? Very, very small money. So, you know, life no longer depends on that physical ability. We depend on mental. And that is why, if it's a technological world, the gap keeps closing in. Because if a woman is good enough to get the job done, she gets the job done, and it is an equal situation where let the best man do the job. Do the job. You wanna, know? So. Okay. I want to ask you a question. Mm. Before we go, like, all the way, yeah. can you please just define feminism? Okay. And why exactly are we fighting? fighting. Okay. Fighting? What? Is it really a fight? No, let, well, let, yeah, let, let us say that. Well, okay, well, it's, it's not... A, it's, mm. I've read some things online, and it's a struggle, it's a movement, it's almost like uh, segregation, you know, all this racism, and all looking, that. Yeah, racism yeah. you know. So why, why is there a need for it? Why, what is feminism and why is there a need for okay, it? Okay, feminism is the advocacy for women equality. It it's advocates the fact that if you're, whether you're a man or woman, you should enjoy as much privileges as the next gender, economically, cultural, political, financially, anything at all that one gender enjoys, the other gender should enjoy. That is feminism. Now, it is not a fight. It seems like that. It is a movement. And a lot of people think it's a hate movement. And I, 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 know, I begrudge nobody because even Martin Luther King that had a very sincere um, ambition to ensure that his race enjoyed certain kinds of privileges yeah. like the white, he, he, was, he was rebuffed even by black people. Mm. He was rebuffed. Mandela up until today is still being rebuffed by lots of black South Sorry Africans. For so them. yeah, so it, it, it just happens. You can't. It, but it's not a fight. It's just that when you try to um, address certain stereotypes that has been there for very long, mm. it will be very hard to crack. It will be very hard to break. And then you are still like, and why are you trying fish. to? Why are you trying to? Um, uh, why are you trying to rattle? Status quo. Yeah, mm. status let it be. So that's yes. why it looks like, yes. oh, this was so angry and bitter and, and all of that. It's really not. It's just we're addressing issues. Mm. Listen, if a girl does not want to get married, it shouldn't, her whole worth. I mean, I've seen issues. Okay, let me, I've done, I've, I've defined feminism, right? Mm. Okay. Yeah, you have. I, I saw, <laughs> yes, I saw have. let me give an example. Like, there okay. was a time, um, Genevieve Naji, the popular actress, she got this endorsement and it was a big deal. And, you know, and, and it was in a blog. And all the comments were like, eh, won't you go and get married? Won't you go and get married? Is it by endorsement? And I'm like, if it was a man <laughs> that got mm -hmm. a certain kind of um, success, we celebrate that success. Why is it not enough for a woman to succeed in other things without always tying it 
to, to marriage. marriage. Because all our lives, I mean, when I was, I know <laughs> children that are like 10, and you hear them, I, and it's not, they're not joking. The mother is like, won't you come to the kitchen? When you get married now, won't you be able to cook for your, you like, know? So it's hinged it's, on marriage, like... And the you cannot, you know, and the problem it is not as marriage is not a bad thing. Marriage is a beautiful thing. But the thing is, when you bring up women or, ch or girls talking like that, they are going to put all of their worth on a on man. It, yeah. he, their financial worth, their psychological worth, their emotional worth, and they and a man, a human being, cannot take all your problems. Mm. So we are we are grooming women who are not they're not secure in themselves. And they're looking for a man to complete them. Mm. I've heard women mm. say things like, I'm not happy, I need a man. I'm like, you have to be happy first mm. to find a man because you also need to give to that man. Mm. So the problem, when we, groom, when we groom women like that, they come into a man's life and they burden the guy. Because they're coming so, as liabilities. Exactly. So even feminism is, is a plus for the men, but they don't know. Mm. We're trying to groom women who can assist you in your business. Because I know, women, I know people who are married, they never talk to their wives about, about certain um, ambitions that they have. They go and call their friends. Their friends instead. Now, if you, because they don't trust that the woman, beyond cooking and laying the bed and probably lying upstairs. down, for, can, you know, they just love her for her body. Mm. But when we say, when, family, when we come and say, okay, we want to groom women who can be partners, you can sit with your wife because truly your friend cannot love you more than your wife. Your wife, if you, if you fail as a man, it affects her. So she's more interested in your success than your friend that can walk away and get another friend. We will have a caller. Okay. Sorry, sorry to interrupt no you. No problem. We have Kayade from Ilori. Good evening. Hello. Yeah. Uh, good evening. Welcome to the show. Could you please turn down the volume of your TV set? Yeah, I know. So I can hear you. We can yes, hear. We can hear you. We, we can hear too. ourselves on we your TV we. set. <laughs> please turn okay. down the volume of your TV set. Okay, 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 okay. Thank yeah, you. I can hear you. Yeah. <laughs> so the word of thing, the word that my um, pink sister said now. Pink sister. Okay, she that, Joy. She said that the woman cannot depend on men. Yes. Hello? Okay. Yes, we can, can hear you. Go on, please. Mm. We can hear you. Yeah. That, that, that pink lady, she said that the woman cannot depend on men. Is totally wrong. So you believe that women should be yes. on men? Yes. yes, men can give women all what she needs. Mm. If you're a Christian, if you read your Bible, you will see that Bible quotes one side. If I'm Muslim, Quran quotes one side that whatever women need, men okay. must provide. Okay. But you, you women, nowadays, mm. you don't okay. need to tell all. So let me just ask you a simple question. Okay, okay, I can tell Let me ask you a simple question, please. I'd like to ask okay. you a question. Is there, is there anything really wrong with a woman who maybe she decides that she wants to take up a career, she wants to work? Yeah. Is there anything wrong with that? And support you too. No, he doesn't need support. Oh, yeah, that's uh, true. Yeah. Is there anything wrong with that? No, nothing wrong, nothing wrong. Okay. It's ah, it's wrong, go. But okay. on what condition? Nothing wrong. What's the condition, sir? What's the condition? Now, now, you are a working woman. Hi, I don't have any job. Eh? But you can take responsibility of the house. As soon as me, see, I went out and looked for a job, whenever I get a job, you will, you, you, you will stop on that <laughs> thing. So okay. I must take that responsibility. Okay, so I was created for okay, you. Okay, let me just tell you a little story. <laughs> a personal experience. I lost yeah. my dad when I was two years old. Oh. Now, if my mom yeah. hadn't gone to school, if she wasn't educated, if she did not have a job, there were five of us. How would she have been able to raise us up? You can't remind. <coughs> no, but she... My <laughs> uncle, all my, all my father's, my father's um, family... The, we've lost him, but I'm sure you can hear us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Turn up the volume of your TV set. For is this a movement or a fight? No, no, I'm just asking a simple question. <laughs> I know, You're right? You're saying women shouldn't be dependent on the men. Now, mm. if something happens to the man, what does the woman do? Then she steps does in. does she go to? No, she steps in. So that's why you're educated. Let me, let me explain what he's saying. You, you go to school so that when there's nothing that the man is doing or when he gets out of a job, you step in. Then the day he gets a job, you, you move back. Out. Then mm -hmm. you, you're just there as a 
puppet. So, so that's good for, go. thought for you, Mr. Kayode. Think about it very carefully. Habba. We know okay, you, are, you have the opinion we should be dependent, but what if something happens to you? What, what does your wife do? If you choose for her to sit at home and not do anything. Can you remember she's educated for moments like that. Okay, well, you know, this is quite an unfair <laughs> um, panel. <laughs> an unfair panel because there's no man here. Okay. So I think we should be gentle with them because, I mean, I think he needs... Um, I'm, so, I'm trying to be very careful and diplomatic, but it, 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 I mean, it, I don't want us to now look like <laughs> we're trying to attack the poor guy. That is his own understanding mm. of life. It comes from even his own upbringing. He's probably exactly. sharing his own... And, and I have no... I don't begrudge you. And I just if shared you mine want, as exactly. well. Exactly. So, <laughs> It's true. He's taking his best person now. But I would like to say something to him. If, for instance, that is why you have to marry Please, your I'll kind. I have to interrupt you okay. for a while. And I'll continue from where you, okay. where you stop. We have marry a caller, Friday okay. from Makure. Good evening, Friday. Welcome to the show. Good evening, sir. Yeah. In my own opinion, yes. I don't see anything wrong with men or women being equal with men. Women do what? Being equal. One is educated. Okay. Everything is People. And there is a saying that goes on that what a man can do, woman can do better. Mm. To me, there is this girl that is working for me. I keep telling her, before I was able to go to university, I was once an Okada rider. Mm. I came from a small, and I was able, if I'm able to get to this place, forget the situation you are in. You can do anything. The only thing that I just have to be just to think. Okay. Okay. So it, it's cool for men and women to yeah. do it. Yeah. Was to motivational speeches from this, um, I forgot the name of the TV, OTTV, the Ghana television. And they were like talking about um, if she can just conceive anything, she sure. can achieve it. Okay. Then I, I now ask the girl. What is it that you really want for your life that seems impossible to you? Then I say she wants to be a lawyer. Then I ask her to close her, to close her eyes. Ah, imagine yourself standing in a court and you are defending the criminal. And she closed her eyes. She concentrated and never to then her character changed while it was. Now I can leave my business for her and travel to wherever I want to go. Mm. And I good. Thank you oh, so much. It's not mm. Thank you. I was almost okay. closing my eyes and getting into the realm of <laughs> But I like people mm -hmm. who like yes. understand. But like you said, mm. we can't we can't blame we those can't blame, that are yeah. on the other side because um, we have different backgrounds. You, you are seen, you, you've seen, you've seen your exactly. mom work as an independent That's woman, why you're training like guys. This, so you know? it hurts when you see people say otherwise, mm -hmm. or when you hear them rather say otherwise. Yeah. So you were talking about, oh God, we have another caller. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll <laughs> talk today. <laughs> Hi, Adedoko, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. He's gone with your contribution. I really, I really like the program you're holding this evening. Thank you. Because Thank you. Education and enlightenment. Thank you very much. So Thank you. My own contribution is that I support women. Could you please speak up a bit more? Hello. Yes. Yeah. Just a bit more. Thank We're training to hear you. Yes. Yeah, just bring it up a bit, please. I should do what? You, um, speak just speak up, up a bit, bit please. Project. I can't hear it clearly. Speak up. Speak louder, please. Okay, I should yeah. speak up. Okay, yes, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, I really enjoyed the program. Thank so you. What I just want to see as a kind of um, warning to ladies who may want to take this opportunity as something that will make them to see themselves as independent okay. on men. Feminism is all about becoming free, doing things on your own, without having to all that much depend on man. But that shouldn't be taken as an advantage to... Uh-oh. I'd have loved I to hear it. It probably yeah. means that that shouldn't be taken as an advantage to be, I don't know, yeah, the, I don't know. Um, this whole it seems men want us to depend on them. Is it no, no. I actually did. No, no, no. It's not this 
um, um, patriarchy, that's the system that mm -hmm. we are in in, in, in Africa, mm -hmm. is not even governed by men. It's not, it's not, it is, it is sustained by women. Color. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have patients calling from Ninja State. Good evening. Welcome Ooh. to Inside If. Uh oh, Ooh. patience, please do call back. I think that's I think the first the lady. Network must mm. be a bit okay. okay, you are talking about. So yeah, so it's not even a, it's not a fight with men. It's even more of a fight with ourselves because patriarchy is sustained by women, by our mothers. I mean, I have friends. I'm different. I mean, my mother brought me up. This whole male, it didn't happen in my family. I didn't know about it until when you know I got into the world in itself. Okay. Women, it is mothers who call their daughters and tell their to come to the kitchen and tell the sons to go and play. Mm. It is mothers who, you know, tell you that, you know, you know, you have to be like this with your husband when you get married yeah. 30 years later. It's not the fathers. Fathers like don't the, even have the time. Like the, the clip that we you watched, know. you know, the lady was like, oh, I've been asked to lose weight to get in shape mm -hmm. or else I will get a like man to marry me. It's and then you can be like this as exactly. a man. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So it's actually the mothers that, it's women that actually propel um, patriarchy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Omo calling from Benin. Good evening, Omo. Good evening. Welcome Good evening. to Inside Welcome Inside Welcome to the show. Thank you. Please go on with your contribution. I, I'm enjoying the topic for today. Okay, thank, thank you. Because, uh, yes, I, I just want to say, I want to just want to say that I don't have any problem with the feminist reason. You know, the, you know, wanting to be independent and wanting same respect and value to the female gender as it is to the male gender, like. There's some certain issues, like let me just mention one that I've noticed. I feel is bias. You see, men, men will tell you that um, a man can cheat, or a man can cheat and get mm. away with it. Why a woman cheats, there should be no going back for her and all that. I don't believe in social. Personally, I believe, as you said, for equal rights. My only problem is this. I've noticed from experience, I'm speaking from experience, because yes, I've happened to be in a relationship with some females who are extremely feministic in their reason. My problem is I have noticed something about most feminists. They have this attitude problem. This has nothing to do with their intelligence or attitude problem. They, they tend to be proud. They tend, you understand? So I think that's what Nigerian men are sensitive about okay. concerning feminism. Okay. If a woman wants to be a feminist, it's okay, but can you, can you be humble? Can you have good manners and be a feminist? So that's, like, that's what I want you girls to to address to talk right. about okay thank you, you very much what i mean yeah, yes yes like thank it shouldn't you. be an excuse for a bad attitude no man, yes, mm. I, it's very hard to get a man that wants a woman to become the head you understand they want a woman to, to tower above him we are talking about man i are not talking about any other thing just man so that's what that's just all i think people should happen okay. all right thank you very much thanks for calling yeah, thank yeah, okay right. so i think george should address yeah that. well because well the problem with things like that is any um, pride is not a fem is not exclusive to feminists. I mean, I was in the market today to buy lingerie, and the woman that I know a feminist, she was proud. She was rude to me. Men are proud. Everybody is proud. You exactly. can be. It has nothing to do with a Your movement. Mm. It has nothing to do with a gender. We have very proud men. We have very proud women that don't even they don't even want to be recognized as feminists. So. My own issue is, you know, just because you see one woman that is proud, don't just say, here you go, another proud feminist. Just say, you she are proud, not, you exclusively. She may not even be a feminist. feminist. She is just proud. Okay, and I'm you know, another feminist. thing is knowledge. Knowledge in itself, when you know what other people don't know, it naturally makes you okay. feel a little feel a little mm -hmm. better than they are. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Those are things that are human. It's, it's human nature. It's, well, I, 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 I don't have a problem please. with people that are a little proud here and there. It's really when they feel that they've achieved one or two things. It's human they nature. Have call. So that's yeah, how it works. Call. Hello. Hello. Peter. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome Hi, good to evening. the show. Your time Thank you, guys. I'm loving this show. I've been watching you guys for a long time. Oh, thank you very much. Good to know. Thank, thank you. you. So, um, the lady in the center with the pink top, I think I thank like you. what you're saying. <laughs> and um, I don't think is there is, there's anything wrong with um, a lady or a wife contributing to the house, or uh, hustling or like. I don't think this should depend on guys. Okay, why? Because not? I think I'm a witness and I have a, an aunt. You understand? I was working on her own company in Petakot. Mm. She is the one that's uh, building the house in the village and the house they're living in the Petakot. And um, the guy is just there. He does that. He's not working, but the the income is more is not that uh, like her own um, 
salary is more bigger than the, okay. the okay. guy's own, and the family is well okay with the issue. So the lady should not depend on guys. Mm. To me, I don't know about other guys. Okay. Because I don't depend on my wife and my wife don't depend on me. We both earn our salaries and we're both okay with that. Okay. Yeah, I understand. Okay. So thanks for the show. I think I'd like to okay. get it. Thank you. Quick question, please. So you, okay. you, do you also believe that women should be given equal rights, be it political, Definitely. social, cultural? Definitely. So you wouldn't mind us having a female head of... <laughs> President. <laughs> President. Doesn't mean anything. The most important thing that we are moving the agenda. That get the job it. done. That's what matters, yeah? Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for You're calling welcome. in. Thanks. No, and that, that is actually the, the voice of the average Nigerian mm. Let me quickly check Man. in something. Mm. Now, many people would say that they would they would advocate for equal rights but how many people actually preach mm. how, how many people actually practice what they preach yes uh, sorry especially in this part of I the think, world let, 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 me, let me back you up on that i think that is the issue mm. like like the color before him now for the last one you know like he said the fact that you're preaching feminism it's no license for you to be out there as a rude person mm -hmm. you get don't say I want this because I'm a woman or we have a color. Stephen from it's Ghana. So Good evening, Stephen. <laughs> Welcome to Inside News. I need more than an hour. Hello, Stephen. Hello. Yes, Charlie. Yes, I like your discussion today. It's very, very nice. Okay, thank, thank you. you. One thing that I, yeah, one thing I've realized about feminists is that a lot of them are so bitter. They're what? They, they don't bitter. have. Uh, uh, motherly, um, I don't know, uh, should I say motherly sort of, should I say spirit or whatever? Okay. That would draw people uh, close to them. Can we just address them. that one? They that leave one? this sort of life that uh, sort of repels people from them. And they are so hard, so bitter about everything. The three men are competition. Did you say bitter? Like, uh, yeah, he said bitter. Uh, yeah, he has a point. Okay, go Can on, please. Address that? Working woman. But oh, the thing is that, if women themselves can work together yeah. to help them, they even compete among themselves. And sometimes uh, you, you are not able to even, uh, I, I don't know how to describe, even uh, the feminists themselves, all of them are saying that they are not able to work together in order to push forward their movement. Mm. They uh, compete among themselves and they are even uh, competing to themselves. And mm. they look at women and men as their competition. Okay. All right, thank you very much, sir. Thanks, for, we, calling. thanks for calling. Thanks for calling. Can we quickly address thank that you. so that it doesn't yeah. keep... Okay. Um, All right, please, let her just... Yeah, um, the thing about angry feminists... Now, it's very simple. If you've spent centuries being told that you're inferior, and all of a sudden... I'm trying to understand where angry feminism is coming from. If you've been told for centuries that you're inferior to another gender, it is only normal, it is only natural yes. that you will come with a lot of anger when you want to finally address mm. these things. Mm. When racism was being held, when racism was being, look at how Malcolm X, look at how Malcolm X dealt with racism. Yeah. So let's not fool ourselves. If, for instance, you want to address somebody that has been rude to you in your office for 20 years, when you finally get the liberty to address that boss, you are going to come An with a lot of, a lot of outbursts, anger. and nobody should judge you. Mm. It's very simple. And he also talked about, um, he said bitter, and then he said something that they don't work together. It is everywhere. It is not just a feminist problem. In your mm -hmm. office, with 20 people, you all will not work together. And you have a vision. No? Yes, vision, Christianity, yeah. Christianity does not work together. Oh, you have okay. Pentecost, you have Catholic, <laughs> yeah. Islam, they have their own. There is no, so, so don't make it exclusively. There is nothing you can talk about feminism that has not happened in every other movement, in every other project, in every other, other establishment. Mm. It is not exclusively feminism. <laughs> Rudeness, bitterness, <laughs> anger, and um, all of that. It's common to human yeah, beings. And their personal issues. I have to say we that. Have a, we have a I don't let still there. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry, Laraba. Welcome to the show. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Good evening welcome to the show. Uh, how is work today? Oh, very well, thank you. Uh, I'm enjoying your show. Thank okay, you very that's much. Good to know. Thank you. Uh, I just want to keep in to those men that said women should not work. Okay. Yes. Keep going. You see, any man that will say a lady or a woman should not work, that means. Hello, Laraba. Oh, if she does not... Uh, hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes keep, can keep hear speaking, you. Just please. Just keep speaking. 
Talking. You can take down the volume of your TV set, yes, please. Yes, please. All right, all right. If only the woman did not go to school, yeah. doesn't work, mm. then the man is happy that she doesn't go to school or she's not working. Mm. It should mean that we have something else doing outside because there are some men that they don't want their wives to be educated because of chicks. <laughs> you understand? Because mm. they, we, they would like, maybe, okay, I'm collecting 40000 but because the woman is not educated to know how much they are collecting, mm. then we said they are collecting. Ah, I think I, I think I get where she was going to mm. land. Mm. Like, if you are not enlightened, okay, if, if I come to you now and I say, oh, for me, I work with the bank, a new generation bank, I'm earning 20,000 now, you yeah, are yes. exposed. You know that I am it's lying. Yeah. But then if you are just shush, in the house, you don't know nothing, I could get, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. yeah. Well, that is, that is not the fault of even a man because education for a woman rests on her father and her parents. So mm -hmm. if we're not grooming women that go to school, you can't blame the husband who marries her. So let us get it. Let us get our priorities straight. If a man marries a woman that is not educated and takes advantage of it, there is a sequence, there is a series to that. Why didn't the father ensure that she got the education so that she can stand up to, mm -hmm. you know, any situation? So it is not a husband's fault. He probably married her out of love and saw the leeway to get away with a lot of things. You can't blame him. We all do that. Want every other, I mean, if you if you are if you're open to opportunities to take advantage of or explore, yeah. not exploit, but explore, you will do it. Mm. So you will have to blame her mother and her father for not bringing, you know, giving her the right education. Mm, do you even really need to be educated to be exposed? Exactly. Sometimes? You don't even need can to be educated to be feminist. I have another mm. caller. <laughs> Innocent from Kaduna. Hi, Innocent. Good evening. Welcome to the show. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Oh, okay. I was expecting a guy. Oh, oh yes. Can you speak uh, up a bit? I want to say something. Okay, go ahead. Can you hear him? Concerning this issue of the thing, there is nothing like this policy. Because even in the animal kingdom, there is male and there is female, and the female is subject to the male. In the animal kingdom, sir? That's a woman I speaking. Can you hear me now? Speak, you can you hear, okay, speak up, speak up. Even in, fam in families, there are kids and their parents. You don't say that because the kids are smaller, then they should have equality. No. Then there should be, then automatically the child should be, to like a equal to the parents. I think it's Gosh, see the analogy. I think I think what what, what you are different. Yeah. What you're referring to as equality, not, it, it's different. Yes, they are even equal. They are all human and they all deserve to be respected. The, the, even the, the kids. Wait, wait, wait. Do you right. have you have you even studied the animal kingdom? Do you know how much regard the male lion has for the female? The female lion literally leads. You don't understand animal kingdom. If you talk about animal kingdom, the women. Are usually the ma they are ma it's a ma it's an animal kingdom. Let me tell you, animal kingdom is a matrical situation. Talk about, talk about the bees. Sometimes, sometimes <laughs> we even need to. There are some things ah, we need to, to go and learn. And learn from go them. and study the lion. Yes. Oh, we're talking the, about the, the jungle. Insects. The jungle is a matrical situation. The the lion, yes. the male lion, has no voice. It is the woman that decides what we're going to eat today, how we're going to eat it, and the chunk that you will have. <laughs> so that animal thing is just totally out of it. I'm sorry. What we're really All talking right. about is equal rights when it comes to social, cultural, economic rights for women, for both genders. And then you can't even talk about women about and talk about me. children because you see something like, eh, it's, doesn't mean you give birth. Not quite right. you're, talking, you're, you're coming your wife to your child. A child is five years old. Your wife is an adult. So you should yeah. even respect the child. I don't even understand. I don't understand. I don't understand your analogy at all. Mm. I don't. I'm sorry. I don't understand the analogy. All right, we have another caller. Hello. Good evening. Oh Hello, dear. We lost that. We are sorry. We uh, lost. Look, the is such an extreme. Okay. Thing. Yeah. You see, we haven't even talked time. about it, and that is the main topic. I know, right? <laughs> okay. Well, extreme. Yes, I do agree with a, set, a, a lot of things we said today, and there is extreme. There's radical. Feminism, there's extreme feminism, oh, and it's fight. actually there are people who are there are people who are anti male. Now that's the thing with every every movement has that. Even in Christianity, in even you know the whole Islam terrorism thing, they keep attaching themselves to um, religion, but they are not you know. So we have yes. to be very careful. So even in the midst of something that is good, that is trying to get something that is good, you have people who are just anti male. They hate men. That is extreme feminism because they still need education. They still need love and education, just like the first caller. 
is saying what he's saying, and I think he still needs a lot of love and education. That is how much the and the um, extreme feminism needs because the fight. The, I don't like to use fight. The struggle is not against men. It, is, it mm. isn't. It is not against men. It is against a system. Angry. It is against... Mm. No, even if you are angry... I don't have a problem not with angry, angry people. against though. men. Yes, That's exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. We are just... It is not against men. It's against a patriarchal system. And trust me, if, if you would allow the voice of feminism to take weight, the men will gain more... Eventually. In a feminist structure. That's than pure, the, pure you feminism. know the kind of responsibilities women would have if you live an equal society, it is even women that will come and start saying, you know what, let us just go back to how it used to be. <laughs> okay, Chuku calling from We need bar. an extra hour. Good evening, welcome to the show. show. <laughs> Please turn down the volume of your TV sets. Yeah, Thank good you. Evening. Good evening, okay, Chiku. <laughs> nice voice. Are you okay now? Yes, yeah. please go on with your contribution. You can hear me now? Yes, yes we sir. can hear you. Go on. Uh, mm. I'm afraid. What I'm saying is that uh, thank you for your program. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you, you very too. much. All right. But what I'm saying in my own contribution is that the problem of men is not just to, it's not that women are being exposed or working or being extinct to an extra. But uh, all the problem is all about their humility and their responsibility in the family as a woman. Oh, yes. Because sometimes when a woman, just as the lady at the middle was saying, that uh, everybody would like to show off himself more better when he knows what others don't know. Mm. That is a different case. Mm. But the problem of men with women to walk to an extreme is just all about yeah, inability in to respect the man and to be humble to them. Okay. Are you going to the the humility yeah. issue. <laughs> uh, so I think I think we already spoke about yeah. that. It's it's a personal issue. It has nothing to do with your gender. Yeah. Yeah. You could be a man and, and be very rude. rude. You could be a man and disrespect your wife, and children, your and wife. Rude. So it's, it's, whether you are a feminist or not, your being rude has nothing to do with it, I think. It's a personal, it's your personal flaw. Do you understand, sir? And, okay, is he gone? Hello. Yeah, what, Hello. What, okay, Chuku. What happened is that uh, I don't think there is any man who doesn't want his wife to meet up to the level of his career. Some people don't. I don't think. But okay. why the issue remains to be that some men, based on the experience or the knowledge that I've gotten from those who have before them, from their wives. Yeah. I don't want to say. Well, it, as a matter of fact, it's, it's not a matter of tribal. It is almost, it is almost a general disease to all women. Disease? Yeah. Really? Mm. There was a disease again. No, uh, the disease is when, once a woman is flying high, she becomes I, I'm okay. By his grace. Mm. So, but, I think I, I understand. All right, thank I you. your point. Thank so. you. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you. I think his point is, when, okay, they when a woman, once a woman is flying high, several she's colors, not easy to control. Several callers have made the same yeah. um, complaint. <laughs> and I think I kind of understand where they are coming from. Mm. The fact that a woman probably goes so far, she has maybe like a PhD mm -hmm. and all of that, and there has this air of authority mm -hmm. and... And it's she's inevitable. Proud. Anybody that no, goes no, high will have well, I'm saying. what she's saying. Listen to what she I'm saying, saying yeah. which she wouldn't have had if she didn't go that far. Now, she's gotten this due to probably her exposure and all mm. of that. But I don't know. Is it, is it right? Is it wrong? No, is it a babe, good thing? Or is it a... Babe, permit me to say this. Sorry. Permit me to say this. Like we already stated, it has... Well, maybe it does, but not, it's not absolutely about your gender. There are men that will be very humble there when they men, do not I have money. You. I but if they have yeah. money, they will start flying yes, and misbehaving exactly. our own so, Besides, even well, some women who are not educated, they are very proud. Well, like the last caller mm -hmm. said, okay, Chuku, as long as you do not neglect your responsibility mm -hmm. and your role exactly. in the family... If you like, be, be proud and have your just head do up your, there in the sky. Be responsible. Just Fulfill your role in the family. Mm. I think that's about it. Yeah. And you're True. good to go. Mm. Mm. So basically, um, I'd like to take my final thoughts. I'm changing my final thoughts after this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. For me, I'd like to say that feminism is a movement that has 
potentially positive effect if you allow yourself Simple. understand it exactly. and allow yourself go Thank in you. the way. Uh, you know, there's something, it's something you just said. There's something you just said. There's something you just said. That is, I think that is the profound message here. Yes. Mm. Knowledge. People don't have knowledge when they so speak about feminism. That mm. is the problem. That is the thing that aches me the most. I mean, you see this, your story, the, the story we opened with mm -hmm. about the woman mm -hmm. marrying dog. Wally Gates is a comedian. He's an, I'm sure he's whatever, he's listening. And he said something about this. He said, hey, this is, the, this is how Nigerian feminists will end up marrying their dogs. And, oh, I, and really? that is the most ignorant, stupidest statements anybody can ever make <laughs> he's ignorant because he doesn't have knowledge if you will allow yourself to know to you know. have a brain use your brain open your google read understand that was why i was able to defend that animal thing that animal thing is wrong it's wrong but when you it. open your mouth and you don't have knowledge you speak of feminism it just makes you look like like a, a mop or maybe all these people are you referring know? to extreme feminists Extreme feminist doesn't think necessarily think have to marry her dog. On. See, 10 p.m. are still going to be here. You <laughs> need to talk to about a program of yours that's coming up. Okay, yes, so you know, just yes, anyway. yes, yes um, well, I've been having it. Um, I've done it in Lagos, I've done it in Abuja, Transcop Hilton. I'm going to um, Ibadan. It's called The Conversation. It's, um, I don't, it's not a feminist movement. We are having a <laughs> We're having conversations about patriarchy, the system called patriarchy that gives privileges to men over women. We want to address it because I feel that patriarchy allows men to be, to be, to be, they give men too much responsibility. That is why a lot of marriages are breaking. When a man wants so to, when a man is overwhelmed, men are overwhelmed. We keep giving them responsibility and the women are just sitting there. We were saying, okay, you have to address patriarchy that gives too much privileges to one gender, that is all we do. And then we try to push the movement of feminism where we want women to be more responsible, yeah. more in tune with society and do all mm. kinds of stuff. Wow. So it's happening nice with one. <laughs> I feel like we should go on. We <laughs> <laughs> have more time, but unfortunately we have to go, like oh, we really, really have to go. Yeah. We spent so much time on the wow. show. But thank you so much for joining thank us. You. Thank, thank you, it was fun, so, so thank much. you. Thanks to all our callers, thanks to the entire crew. Well, wow. you can catch uh, a, a repeat broadcast tomorrow evening at 10 p.m. It was nice having you guys on the show. Uh, <laughs> my final thoughts, quickly. Feminism isn't about making women strong. Mm -mm. Women are already strong. Yes, we are. It's about <laughs> changing the way that the world perceives this strength. Mm -hmm. That's by G.D. Anderson. Yay. As well, that just nails it. Yeah? Exactly. Well done. Bam, well on done. The head. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. It's been totally awesome this one, past one hour. Thanks to our guests again. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much, much for joining us. Thanks to my co-host. <laughs> Thank you so much from Fulme <laughs> and from our guest Joy and from Dairy. Good night. Enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.